there, Troy here from Green Dragon Technology. Uh, I was going through my system recently and I saw a Windows.old folder. And for those of you who don't know, uh, basically whenever Windows does a system update, a major update, like going from Windows 7 to Windows 10 or Windows 8 to Windows 10, uh, or even recently, uh, my Windows 10 system did an update uh, to the most recent build of uh, 1511. And when it did, it took all the uh, all all the system files and programs and settings and, and everything, and it dumped it into a Windows.old folder. And let me show you that. If I open up the File Explorer, uh, go to the C drive, and right here we see Windows.old. And so, uh, you know, people ask, can I delete that file or that folder? I should say. Um, if, if I try, it's going to error out because this is, it's a system folder and uh, it won't let you. There are ways around that, but you really don't want to. Uh, so what I found out, the best way to clean that up um, is using the, the disk cleanup utility built within Windows. Uh, so again, usually Windows will go ahead and delete this folder within 30 days. Um, in case you change your mind, you can restore, systems, uh, restore your system back. Um, I should go ahead and delete it by itself, but sometimes it doesn't. My system recently did that upgrade, um, and it's, it's still sitting there. Uh, so but I'm going to go ahead and delete that, but I'm not going to just right-click and delete, because like I said, it, it won't let you anyways. So we're going to use the Disk Cleanup Utility. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Just click on the Windows Start button here, type in Disk, and you should see Disk Cleanup right there. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It's going to look at the C drive. This won't take terribly long, but it does take a little while. Uh, so there's all these different options in here. I'm not even going to worry about these. You go to cl uh, clean system, clean up system files right here. Again, check the C drive. Assuming that's where your Windows folder is. And it's looking for previous Windows installations, among other things. This just takes a couple minutes here. Okay, and so we got all these things that we can check and uncheck, but I'm, what I'm looking for right here, previous Windows installation. See, it's taking up 16.7 gigabytes, and that's that's a pretty good amount of space. I have absolutely no intention of rolling Windows 10 back to the previous Windows 10 build, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and justify that and go ahead and take care of that now. Um, if, you know, if you have any uh, reservations about this, don't do it. Uh, but if you're fine, you don't want to roll the system back to a previous build, um, go ahead and check this box and then hit OK. Are you sure you want to delete the files? Yes. And so it's going to go through all those things that were checked. It's going to go ahead and start deleting all those things. OK. So if you clean up the previous Windows installations or temporary installation files, you will no longer be able to restore the machine back to the previous version of Windows. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I do. OK, it's working on that. 16.7 gigabytes. I can think of a lot of things I'd rather have on there than old Windows system files. So, any moment now. Okay. Uh, there it is. It's gone. So I'm ready to rock and roll. I've cleaned up some space now. Uh, so there we go. So uh, please be sure to subscribe and like and share with your friends and stay tuned for another episode. Thank you.